Welcome Pokemon players to another episode of Discount Pokemon Dex. Today we're going to start off with a joke. Man walks into a talent agency and he says, guys, I have the smartest dog in the world right here. Talent agency says, go, let's see him, let's see him, bring him in. So he brings a dog in, he's like, all right, I'd like to warm him up with some easy questions first. And the guy's like, all right, that's, that's reasonable, go ahead. So he asks the dog, he says, all right, uh, what do you, uh, what is the top of a building normally called? Dog thinks for a second, he says, roof. He says, very good, very good. All right, now a uh, second question for you. Um, what do you do when you meet the Prime Minister of Japan? Dog thinks for a second and says, bow. Ah, very good, very good. Now third question, we'll get a little tougher. Maybe, maybe this one. How about, who was the greatest baseball player of all time? Dog is thinking and looking around and thinking, and he says, Ruth, talent agency gets mad, stops him right there, said, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is, this is an old act. I've seen this a million times. Come on, get out of here with this. I wanted something fresh and new. You said you had the smartest dog in the world. Get out. I don't want to even look at you again. Man and his dog leave talent agency offices. Dog turns to the man and says, maybe I should have said Barry Bonds. All right, so in any case, this deck is like the smartest dog in the world. <laughs> All right, so maybe, maybe Lucario's more of a wolf, but in any case, to play this deck, you have to think every step of the way, which means I'm going to fail tremendously when I play it. Uh, the games. I haven't played them yet, but I know I will because there's so many times you can make mistakes with this deck. So if you want a deck that really makes you have to think and you have to, you know, you're not just playing on autopilot where you're actually thinking through and calculating this is the deck for you. And, and I, this deck has been done, uh, you know, time and time before. But uh, as a request in my last video, someone said, hey, why don't you make one of those? And I called that I would beat that, uh, beat that guy in, in the manner that I did, uh, beat my opponent um, by knocking out his soul Pokemon to win because uh, that happens a lot in Fight Alone Lucario decks. But... Here you go. Uh, I am making a Fight Alone Lucario deck. And I, I've had a couple over time. Uh, well, not not a couple, but I've played around with it a little bit. And I haven't played around with it since Sun and Moon. And I thought I'd see if it, there's anything there that really adds to it. Not that much. You're not going to blow people away with this deck. But you know what? There's someone at your local tournament that is playing Mega Gardevoir. This might be the deck for you. If you're sick of fairy types <laughs> and you need something steel, you need something cheap, this is also a good cheap deck. It's about one of the cheapest decks you can get. Um, the cost is just these guys, really. Uh, it is a rare card, but they're not that hard to get. For Lucario, you should be able to pick up easily. Everything else should be common or uncommon. Uh, we've got a little Spinda here, which is an uncommon, but everything else, uh, uncommon Klefki and unknown, of course, is common. Everything else is a trainer, supporter card, uh, common or uncommon. So this should be pretty easy to make. Uh, first off, I want to thank everybody. I want to thank you and everybody that, that watches this video uh, for your comments. Uh, I think changing the, uh, the giveaway from, uh, you know, uh, secret phrases to comments really helped. And, and lots of people commented just saying, hey, look, I just want to, you know, say a comment and talk about the deck and have some ideas. I loved it. I, I was reading the com comments. I'm like, this is great stuff. Uh, so thank you. I did pick a winner because he did put his IGN name in. Uh, there were maybe some other comments I like better, but uh, if I don't know your name, so uh, if you are picked winner, uh, please send me a trade offer for a pack of cards. I'll be more than happy to give you a pack of Sun and Moon, uh, and we'll just continue that way. I, I loved it. So again, uh, prize for someone with the best comment that leaves their IGN name. <laughs> All right, so the focal point of this deck is... This attack, Fight Alone, uh, which does 30 damage, and if you have fewer Pokemon in play than your opponent, it does 60 more damage for each Pokemon fewer you have in play. So if he's the only Pokemon you have in play and your opponent has three on the bench, that's going to do 210 damage uh, before checking for weakness and resistance. And uh, the focal point, we're combining Fight Alone with nothing. Haha. <laughs> because it is Fight Alone. You want this all by itself, technically. Um, so... You know, uh, it, it's, so our focal point will reflect the deck that Fight Alone stands alone. There's lots of synergies for this deck. Um, 
so that we don't get knocked out. Uh, we do have some unknowns and some Klefki. One Klefki, I should say. Klefki, Klefki comes in handy if you do have a Mega uh, Pokemon that you're going against. Uh, we also have some Captivating Pokepuff. You know what? This is a card that you would think is great in this deck. It's okay. It's much better late in the game because early in the game, everyone's trying to get their Pokemon out anyway. Unless you catch their Hoopa or Shaman in your hand, this doesn't really help early in the game. But later in the game, if your opponent's being a little stingy and you're noticing he's playing Mega Gardevoir and he's just you know doing the 110 attack and he's not putting the Pokemon down that he should, yeah, that's that's when you want to start playing this. And then it's uh, then there's fun times to be had. So obviously that with Fight Alone, uh, that's a good synergy there. Unknown and Klefki, that's a good synergy there. Uh, I've put in Puzzle of Time in this deck. And this helps a lot because these guys are going to get knocked out a lot. And you need to rebuild them quickly. So Puzzle of Time lets you get your Pokemon back. You can even use it on an Unknown. If you're scared that you don't have bench protection, you can use it on a captivating Pokemon. You can use it on just about anything, right? So if you feel like you need something at that time, you got your Puzzle of Times in your hand. That's good. Puzzle of Time, singularly, if you're not using it to take cards out of your discard, works well with Unknown, too. So if you have a single one, you can look at the top three cards of your deck. If you're really desperate, put them in order. Use Unknown, and that card goes right in your hand right then and there. So it is a... Um, it's it's a it's a good thing to have uh, good synergy there. Uh, you know, Super Rod. Uh, of course, you're going to be putting cards back in your deck. It kind of is in opposition with Puzzle of Time. You'll play Super Rod and go, and then get Puzzle of Time next turn. Go, oh well, if I just kept that in my deck. But you know, I'm mean, excuse me, my discard pile. So it does work a little bit against it. Um, some of the techs in this deck, uh, unknown obviously, let you draw cards. Klefki is good if you face a Mega. Of, uh, Mega Pokemon, Mega EX, excuse me. Uh, Spinda, I threw in as a one-off. I figure it's n this was a card that uh, Click the Links, thank you, Click the Links, is like, wow, this is a, this has card has some potential, and it's kind of like, you know, I I know you guys know I have a fondness for uh, Ancient Origins Malamar. Spinda is like that minus the Bunnelby aspect, so. 30 damage, and your opponent's active Pokemon is confused. A lot of times in this deck, you need to stall because you have to get two energy on this guy, which is a real pain in the butt. Uh, you don't. You can Sometimes this 50 vacuum wave attack will be just fine, but you're finding that because you're not putting uh, Riolu on the bench as often because you want your bench clear, you're a little bit struggling in time to get energy on him. And I really didn't think um, Max Elixir would uh, would be useful here because there's not a lot of energy in the deck. There's not a lot of Pokemon. So I, I really didn't like that. Um, so in any case, so Spinda gives us a little time, a lot of, you know, uh, uh, to confuse our opponent to get our next guy ready. Only one colorless energy. So it's a nice little attack. Um, experience share, as I mentioned before, getting energy on these guys is a problem. So uh, this is something we'll use. Sometimes we'll puzzle of time that back in our hand as well. Because that allows us to put energy on our active without worrying about, our, you know, have to choose between active and bench. So, uh, you know, experience share. I use it in a, in a lot of decks where I'm not sure that I need energy quickly. And it's good because it keeps it on the board. So um, I use it a lot of decks when you're doing attacks that count how much energy is in the game. Uh, Hunt Tail, <coughs> um, stuff like Xerneas Break. But uh, it's good for just getting your guys powered up quick enough. And what, what else am I really going to put on these guys as a, uh, you know, how, one, how else am I going to get energy on them fast enough? And two, I, I can't think, what am I going to put on them as a, a, a Pokemon tool? So I'm okay with that. Everything else is pretty standard in this deck. Uh, level ball, uh, only one paint roller. Um, I have three trainer mail, and I, I think the... Um, and, uh, you know, so I have, I feel like I have a good amount of draw. Three Trainer Mail, um, two Lilies, two Shaunas, and 4-4, four, four, and in Sycamore. We, I played with this deck good a fair amount, and uh, this is, gives me a good amount of draw. If we go back to my spreadsheet and we put plug these numbers in, fail draw is only 15%. Now, you're going to get a little bit overloaded seeing these guys over and over again, but I'm okay with that. Um, if I... If I could expand this deck to 65 cards, I'd probably throw another Lysander in. 
Um, you know, there's there's a there's a couple of things I would throw in. That that would be one. But this deck is what it is. It's it looks simple. It's like oh, you're just gonna put a Pokemon down and attack, and it's not. You have to think, think, think. So we will go on to the games where I will fail miserably, maybe succeed a little bit. There'll be plenty of blunders for me to make, and uh, hopefully I'll find some uh, some nice plays here. So we'll be right back with some games after a short break. Oh, welcome back to game one. Oh, look at this, a fairy deck. Usually I get it the other way around, where uh, I get a deck <laughs> that is uh, has my weakness, but maybe I will be able to take upon my opponent. But the interesting thing about Mega Gardevoir in this matchup is he can get rid of all his bench guys. Uh, so it makes it hard for you to really pump some damage on him. But uh, I've had some interesting games, and this is the draw I do not want to have. I only have three unknown in this deck, by the way, so um, should be more than half the time I should have a all right, Max Elixir. We don't know exactly what we have, but all right, we're going to draw another card. Uh, more than half the time, I should get um, a Pokemon. Uh, excuse me, uh, Lucario. Not Lucario. What's his face? Anyway, uh, as my starting Pokemon. Yes, I would like to draw Riolu. Oh boy, this would be great if he was not unknown. <laughs> this was anything else, that would be great. All right. I wonder if my opponent knows I'm using a metal deck here. Must have seen it in the beginning, but I always like to confuse people. So if you always look at my decks and you see like, what this is a fighting deck, you don't know what deck I have. I do that on purpose. I why take every advantage you can. Alright, I'll take an end. That's that's pretty good actually. As much as I'd love to get a Riolu and an experience no, I'd i I'm I'm hoping for a uh, escape rope. <laughs> this is an awful draw. Another unknown I can get rid of my opponent's stadium. That'll help me draw a card. So let's do that first, because I'm going to do that anyway. There we go. All right. So now we just need an escape rope and like an uh, an N. How do I get both? I'm not going to play this now, because he's likely to be the active. So let's see what a trainer's mail gives me. Sycamore. All right. At this point, I'm fine with playing Sycamore. Uh, I might as well attach that. Let's see if I can get uh, an escape rope and another Riolu. Mm, that's not what I wanted. All right. So I can put a single energy on him and attack. And if he knocks me out, it goes to this guy because of... Oh, I can't do it this turn. So again, I'm already not thinking. All right, so... Let's let's pause for a second. So what am I going to do? Most likely he's going to build up his, his bench with Geomancy. Um, so I have to think about that. I can get Lucario on him next turn. I need a, a switch to get this unknown out. Escape rope, excuse me. All right, so Gardevoir. Probably going to see Mega Gardevoir. So this is good. We can uh, we can do some good damage on this Gardevoir. Escape Rope would be great because uh, even with just Lucario, uh, the Vacuum Wave, I'll be doing 100 damage. So I'm going to aim for that first. So my my idea is the cool thing is I could do use Klefki now and then um, and then get him back later with Super Rod. Okay. I wasted one puzzle of time. I don't know if I want to waste another, but I have too many cards in my hand for Lily. So I can get rid of one, two, three. Well, let's do this first because that's guaranteed. So she's going to give me up to six. I get rid of one, two, and then I have one, two, three, four cards. So she'll draw me three, which is not awful. Uh, I'd love to put this on the unknown. If I play this puzzle of time, it'll give me... One more. I could play Lysander now, but these guys are. Oh, in the Shining Wind, it will hurt me. Hmm. So what do I do? Do I play? Do I play Lysander on Shaman? Do I play on this Gardevoir and then have to deal with Shining Wind? 
or do I play Lily? Well, I'm almost certain to play this. I think I'm gonna go with Lysander. I know I'm I'm like jumping into the uh, tiger's mouth here if I do a Lysander. And I don't have anybody else set up. Let's see what else I can get here. It doesn't help to have an empty bench here, but it does pay to get one more Pokemon, which I'm fine with. And he only needs one energy, so that will give me time to set up my next guy. So now I definitely want to do the Lysander. Stadium's gone. Only three cards, so maybe my opponent's got a little bit of a dead draw here. Um, should I use Puzzle of Time and Unknown? Hmm. You know what? I'd like to see what I can get. So, yeah, I'm going to. Uh, yeah, I definitely want this level ball, and I want it now. And so I'm going to go for it. So two of my three unknowns already gone, but I uh, feel more comfortable having one of these guys on my bench. And next turn I could play Lily and the single energy. He's likely to... Ooh, this will only do 100 damage, so Lucario might get two, t two attacks in. So f only 50. Why was that only 50? Oh, Vacuum Wave does not isn't affected by weakness or resistance. I don't know why they put that there. That's just unfortunate. <laughs> nah. All right. So, let's think. Definitely you want to play Spinda before you play Riolu. And this is true at any point. My opponent's not going to be able to knock me out. Um but I'm only going to be able, well, if they play N here, that wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. And my opponent, she does play N. Um, give me a new hand. Although you'll find a lot often that when you have the nice hand, you don't want that. And I kind of find that with this deck. That's This is interesting. I don't think I'm going to use it now. Although this is not really a great hand for me. Because I will probably sycamore this away. So he has no weakness anyway. So, all right. Oh, and if I Sycamore, then I'm losing this puzzle of time. So I have a choice here. Shauna or Sycamore? I could play a Captain po Captivating Pokepon, Pokepuff. If he puts a Pokemon there, then I will be able to have two. So that gives me 120, 150, which is enough to knock this guy out. So let's try it. Nothing. See? So this thing, this card usually works better later in the game. I'm going to take a risk. Mm. These are a lot of cards to lose, but you know what? I'm going to take a risk this way. Let's do it the opposite way. Let's get the Sycamore. All right, all right. This is okay. This is working out a little bit. Another captivating Pokey Punch. I'm not... That is interesting. Was I taking too long? Or did my opponent just did not want to uh, face the weakness? Wow, that was that was weird. All right. Yeah, so my opponent just quit on me. It's funny because usually, even in my videos, I stick it out. <laughs> if you remember from the Passimian video, I was like, yeah, you know what? I'm playing a fighting deck and I'm going to lose. But, um, you know, who knows? People play at different times for different reasons. Maybe uh, she didn't see any value in playing a deck she knew was going to use. All right. Here's an odd deck. Venus Mega Venusaur. All right, Crisis Vine, uh, Paralyzed and Poison. That is interesting. Uh, no Pokemon for me. My opponent's going to choose. So Mega Venusaur deck. This deck, uh, in at least in the st standard that I can remember, has never really took off. All right, this is a good setup. So one Riolu, one Unknown. I lost this coin flip as well. That doesn't seem fair. My opponent will get an extra card. Uh, one energy is not all that great. So I may or may not use it. Uh, probably play Lily if I don't get end. Wow, look at that. That's that's what you want to see. That's not what you want to see. So he's going to knock out this Riolu in two turns. Don't really want to see that end, but that's fine. That's the interesting thing with this deck is you just like just leave my hand alone. So, oh boy. 
So, oh, this is interesting. Uh, uh, Lorantis GX to power up Venusaur or Mega Venusaur. So, all right, I'm digging this. You get rid of the stadium for a free card. Someone, you know, someone mentioned, oh, you should put Delinquent in. And I, and I get the knocking out three cards from your opponent. Uh, I like Paint Roller better, maybe because I'm an old school kind of guy. But even if I knock out three cards, if she's got one Sycamore in, in here, she's going to just pick the other three cards. I guess it's a little bit of a nuisance, but probably not that much. Um, so it's not anything that uh, really appealed to me. Uh, I need the N, I think. So I'll take that. No point in captivating Pokepuff now. As I said before, it's definitely a later game card. Let's use the Paint Roller now. Alright, Puzzle of Time. Doesn't really help me this early in the game. Yes, that's what I want. Um, I'd love both. <laughs> Can I take both? Alright, so Level Ball here. Let's get uh, this Riolu up and running. And the other thing I could have done is spin to here and then uh, roped it, but... Mm. All right, I don't think I'm going to rope at all. We'll play Lily now. I like to save these puzzle of times for when I have four. Okay, this is not that great. Uh, he'll be ready to go, but he'll probably be dead by that time. I like keeping Unknown, especially if, he's gonna, if I'm planning on him knocking out Riolu, then... Um, I could use this rope next turn and play with him. So he may not get knocked out. Then I could get rid of the unknown. So I, I like leaving the unknown because you don't want your only active Pokemon to get knocked out. So he's kind of like a bench saver. You know, he just fills up a single space in your deck as well. So hopefully we get a more robust game here. But I'm, uh, I'm amazed at the speed in which my opponent has already set up her bench here. Alright, what did she chuck here? Ultra Ball, Force Giant Plants, Mega Turbo, uh, 1GX. Alright, I'm fine with that. She's digging for something, I'm guessing. Maybe another energy? No energy in here, so she can't really use this uh, to power up her Pokemon yet, and I'm going to escape rope in a minute. Four Pokemon on the bench, so if I get rid of this unknown, he's got enough to knock out a GX. So I should be able to knock this guy out if I'm calculating properly. My opponent used her GX attack. One, two, three spots. Not that I'm loving not having really anything here on the bench. Should I play an N? I don't have a great hand, and I'd like somebody on my bench. So, yes, I'm going to play an N. So a lot of times you do like your hand when you have the C. This is a better setup. Because I can play the experience share and the Riolu and play the unknown. So I'm not really losing anything. So right now he'd do 120 and 30 is 150. And if I chuck unknown. Too early? What's the chance my opponent has something else there? Let's see. No, all right. Ooh, enhanced hammer doesn't hurt me at all. Lysander and two V Seekers. All right, all right. Well, we went for it that time. Fight alone. We'll collect two prizes. Two ten. That's awesome. The other interesting thing is this deck kind of runs out of steam as you start knocking out their Pokemon. They've got no one on the bench. I really should have saved that Poke Puff till later. I was greedy. I knew I was going to one shot him. Why use it now? There's a chance I'm going to need it later. I can puzzle a time it later. Uh, one of the cool thing about puzzle a time is if you use it on item cards to pull item cards out, you can play them right then and there. So I'm feeling pretty good here, except now my attack's only going to do 150 because there's only three Pokemon on the bench. So as I said, this deck, so it's weird. It's like it doesn't start off fast and doesn't end great either. But I guess in the middle, it's fine. It's, it's great in the middle if you're losing and your opponent's putting lots of Pokemon on his bench. All right, another stadium. That's fine with me. Look at that. 40. Does she get to power any of these guys up? Well, one on him. So escape rope doesn't help. Um, 
No point in playing super odd. I'm going to play N here. It's going to drop me down a little bit. It's fine. It'll give my opponent one card. I'm not too thrilled with that, but ooh, I was hoping to get a single energy for this guy, and I did not. I could play an escape rope here, and then she's not going to be able to attack me. Uh, except I can't retreat with this guy. So, All right, so we're going to do a ton of damage on him, 150. And my opponent's then going to knock me out. And I'm probably going to knock this guy out and play a Sycamore next. So, Again, you have to really kind of plan it through. Uh, I need an energy to knock out this Loranthus. If it stays there with all its health. So let's see what happens here. I mean, you, you want to look at the, her deck and say, wow, Mega Venusaur, you're playing that. No wonder why you're winning early. But you know what? This thing set up pretty quick. <laughs> Not my fault she didn't have any energy in her discard. But, uh, you know, I knocked the first one out. And the second one's already ready to go with uh, three energy on it. So definitely a good card to have. So let's see what happens. This guy is going to get knocked out. She used her GX attack already, but Solar Blade will do it and will heal some damage from him. So I am going to be a little short in knocking him out, this Lorantis, unless I get that next energy. But, you know, this is a deck, this is like any other small versus, you know, David and Goliath deck where... Um, where you're going to trade two for one. And sometimes it's going to even out, and sometimes you're going to be a little bit ahead. We'll play Sycamore right away. 34 cards, so we're getting through our deck. Klefki is not great, but it will allow me to stay alive. Let's see if we get a Trainer's Mail. Mm. I don't have a Puzzle of Time in my hand. So that would be great. Another synergy is Trainer's Mail and Puzzle of Time, because uh, then you can... Trainer's Mail, the second puzzle time in your hand to put other cards right in your hand. Very cool setup, but we did not get this. Let's just look here before I play this blindly. Yeah, we need those Riolu back in our deck. Because I don't have them back. How many energy are in here? Just the one? And there's going to be, well, just the one. So we'll do that. We'll get Klefki here so we don't die from not having anyone on our bench. Fight alone again. Should knock him out. 150, I think. 150 damage. Done. Venusaur is still a little bit away. Not the hand I want. <coughs> not the hand I want, but my opponent still, uh, unless she's got a Mega Turbo, she probably has in his deck. She might knock him out, and then uh, there you go. And now I'm in trouble because all I have is a clef. The only thing that's standing between me and instant loss is a Klefki. So I will almost certainly have to play Sycamore again, but I can super rod these two back in my deck. Oh, no. See, this is what I'm talking about. Again, even if you go ahead on prizes, you have to have everything in your hand and plan it out. Oh, man. Oh, man, so I'm uh, snatching defeat from the jaws of victory. Boy, wouldn't this Klefki be nice on this uh, Riolu? Except it's not meant to be. And I know I can't do Wonderlock now, so. So I need a Sycamore in my hand next turn. And even if I do, uh, it's not likely to help me. I don't know what would save me. A Lysander? Probably a Lysander. That would be the only thing. Do I have a Lysander here? I do not. So maybe a maybe a Sycamore and an exchange uh, escape rope. Did I use them both? There's one in my deck, so really I need to draw something here to not die. So again, this is just such an odd deck. Uh, you know, you plan and plan, and you're like, oh, I'm winning. I just need to do blah blah and. You know, these guys are kind of fragile. They get knocked out. All right, I'll take Shauna because that's the only thing I have. So hopefully get a Pokemon on my bench. Spinda. <laughs> All right, so Spinda it is. And we'll put a experience share on Spinda. Why not, right? 
We will super rod something back in our deck. You know, we need the energy more than anything at this point. One, two, three. I have, I, is that smart? Should I do that? Nah, I'm going with that. That's fine. One full set. I'll probably play Sycamore after this. Ugh. So hard, man. This deck is like, it's so frustrating because you have to plan and plan and then it doesn't matter anyway. You end up with like getting end with only two cards. Maybe an Oranguru, but do you want an Oranguru on this, on your bench here? <laughs> right? If you have a Oranguru, uh, that's kind of hurting your fight alone. So your end protection is gone. I have Spinda, but most likely my opponent will retreat. So, I do not have high hopes for this contest. I, at this point, I would take an end because, uh, you know, reduce my opponent's hand. Mm. I'm almost certainly going to lose. So, let's just try this. What if I get something? But my opponent doesn't have an energy. Oh, well, now I get two puzzle of time. So let's play them now. Um, what to play? I'm thinking this guy and uh, Klefki would be interesting. Why not? Too bad I put that on him, the experience share. I guess I needed to to, to get the... Uh, This is interesting. How about this? What if I don't attack and I just retreat? Let's try to survive. Let's play that game. Let's retreat. My opponent can't attack me. We'll get rid of unknown because I don't want him stuck there. And I can Lysander this guy next turn. So I have to hope I draw an energy. Because right now my Riolu has got mega... Protection. Oh, except for the paralyze and poison part. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna Lysander this guy, and actually evolving him would help. But let's Lysander him first. <coughs> now, uh, someone have an energy to lend me? That would be great. No, all right. So, just to calculate, he will only do 90 damage. Oh, there we go. So, there we go. Game over. Good good play by my opponent. Very well played. Um, tough matchup. Good, good. It's an interesting deck. That really, uh, the GX cards come out quick, and then it's really hard to deal with the uh, Mega Gardevoir. All right, final game of this match. I haven't had to think that much. I've, I've definitely had some more interesting uh, games than uh, what I've seen in the first two. Well, the first one was a, a quick uh, resign. I hope this is not a fire deck. My opponent showing colorless, but that means nothing. Remember, I'm showing um, fighting deck, so very possible. All right, not the hand I want. And again, I don't go first. What's, what's up with that? All right, two trainers mail, so hopefully I'll get something to draw. Not a great hand. I'd like to get an N and remove all this. Well, that's interesting. All right, so Oranguru unknown. I'm guessing I'm facing with all the discard uh, uh, Vespa Queen, so let's see. Let's see what this deck really is. Who knows? Maybe maybe it's Passimian? No, you wouldn't put Unknown Passimian, would you? Hmm. I don't know what I'm playing against. Wow, so my opponent did not take the N with the Acro Bike, so whatever they got was better. Nest Ball, I, I guess we're going to find out Oh, it is Passimian. Why Why unknown with Passimian? Is it Passimian Vespa Queen? Is that a thing? I think I've seen 
uh, a deck like that out there. There's Mew. All right. So this is making a little more sense. My opponent definitely shrinking his deck down with these unknowns. Another Nest Bowl, another Pissimian. All right. Revive. Are we pulling someone back already? What was in here? Unknown. Interesting choice. To draw another card, maybe? Get a card out of his hand? Although that said, I, I've got to get something going here because this is just not good. At least, well, this part's not that great. <laughs> this part's okay. This part's not that great. And I am uh, I know he's going to, like, tear into me. Interesting that he put the energy on the Passimian, too. Why not on the Mew? Isn't that going to be your first attack? Hmm, I'm befuddled here. All right. Can we get something? We're going to take Sycamore, but I'm going to hope I'm getting an end here. Because uh, I don't want to lose all of this, but I guess if I have to. You know what? Uh, I'm just going to lose it all. I don't care. Let's see what he's got in his hand. Unlikely this is going to work, but I'm playing Sycamore anyway. Crushing Hammer, Brock's Grit, and okay. So he's probably going to play end next turn anyway. Uh, I might as well use that. Why not? Who knows? Maybe there'll be a escape rope or something I can do. To salvage it. Spinda, Riolu. Um, no point in doing anything. I don't want to put the energy on him. Hmm. A or B? Let's try that. I'm going to assume he's getting knocked out. But I could be wrong. And even still, I can always, if I'm going to swap him out, I can swap him out for the Spinda. Or I can swap him out for the Lucario with the single energy attack. Or maybe my energy will just go away anyway. And I won't really have to worry if I should have put it on Spinda or Riolu. Either way, really. All right, so no, my opponent plays Sycamore. I was expecting him to play N. He must have drawn that. Town map, good, good card for any deck. Some decks more than others. Interesting. Not much that he'd really want from there. I mean, I could... Well, I need an energy first and foremost. I could try to Lysander one of these guys. Maybe the Mew, although I may see the Mew sooner than later. What does he have in here? He has an escape rope, so we know he has that in his deck. So he has the ability to switch out. Should I be in a big hurry to get to this guy? Although if I knock out one of his energies, I'm okay with that. So 50 will just knock him out. So if I can get a single energy on Riolu my next turn, I can just Lysander him. Another acro bike. Just shorten your deck. I should calculate the odds with acro bike because if you assume acro bike just shorts it, so then you go from 52 to 48. Because if you draw any of those, then uh, you're going to play it anyway for for first uh, first hand. Uh, ooh, Radita, uh, dead hand. All right, my opponent's taking his time to set up. I'm sure this unknown here is bothering him because what is he going to do? Is he going to put a double colorless on an unknown? Oh, there's the switch. All right, finally got what he needed. Starting to knock me out. Uh, we're going to go with Spinda here. <laughs> I mentioned how I'm always facing decks with my weakness, huh? So Spinda here to confuse him. Definitely going to play Lily instead. Not a great hand. be funny if I'd Lysander this guy again, but... We can knock him out uh, potentially with just... Hmm... Okay, I play the energy on him, and I attack him once. He's He can retreat for free, and then he'll knock me out. So do I put the energy on Lucario in the hopes that Spinda's dead anyway? This is bad. Uh, when you're playing a deck two against one, it's all right if your guys get knocked out. But if you're playing a deck where you're basically trading knockouts, you, 
uh, you know, you're one-shotting each other. You don't want to uh, <laughs> be behind two, and I'm going to be behind two prizes, it looks like. Unless this V-Seeker gives me something really great. Uh, I'm probably going to go with Sycamore. No, yeah, well, I had a feeling that was coming. Oh, Ranguru showing his worth in this deck. I should have just un I should have Lysanded the unknown when I had the chance, huh? <laughs> would have worked. Would have worked against me. I think he put the energy down this turn. So, yeah, Simeon. I mean, uh, I I like my version. Um, oh, even with resistance. Uh, it's a very it's a good strong deck. Probably one of the best budget decks you will get right now. Right up there with uh, Raichu Vespa Queen. Um, really strong. I mean, when you could do 120 with resistance, 130 every turn, that's that's strong. It doesn't take much to power them up with energy. My opponent. What is he going to take? All right. Well, that answered that question. So, this is not looking good for me. Even if I do uh, confuse him, most likely my opponent will retreat. If he doesn't, that's probably a little bit of a mistake. Yep, uh, game's over. So, good game to my opponent. I'm going to play this anyway, just in case he plays something else. Look at that. No wonder I'm not drawing anything. Let's get this in there. Like, mm, Sure, why not? Doesn't matter. Good game to my opponent. And this is done. So my opponent knows that he can retreat for free. This game's over. Or even thinks to retreat because Passimian will knock him out one shot. So again, you know, one of the shortcomings of this deck is you don't have a lot of Pokemon and you don't want a lot of Pokemon on your bench. And I even thought it was a little much putting the Spinda and uh, and Lucario, a uh, Riolu down on the one. Really? Totally unnecessary. <laughs> uh, you know, it's, it's one of the downsides. I mean, you look at, compare our two decks. Wow, wow I can't believe he did that. <sighs> Compare compare these two decks, Passimian against mine, and it's it's fairly obvious. They're doing more damage with an easier setup. One single uh, energy placed down. Granted, it's a double colorless, but um, you know, granted it's a double colorless, but you can put it down in a single turn. Where I have to waste two turns to try to get a, a energy on this guy. And yeah, he has the ability to do 210 damage, but. It's at such a high risk of not having Pokemon on your bench. Uh, risk that maybe he doesn't have two or three. Uh, risk that later on in the game he's only gotten like when a, that the Mega Venusaur game. Uh, he only had two guys on his bench, so I wasn't doing a, as much damage as I could. I've tried a, def a couple of different things in this deck. I've tried putting Karen in, <coughs> um, Buddy Buddy Rescue, but really it's just doesn't really fit uh, you know you can you can you can experiment with all different types uh, captivating pokey pun uh, pokey puff I found this works better in the game um, it doesn't really work early early everyone's placing their Pokemon down anyway so um, later they're withholding it because they know what kind of deck you're playing but it really doesn't you know I, I, I experimented with a few different types and this is the best I could come up with this deck is gonna win you know half the time if that and uh, but you know what? If you want something different, if you want something that you want to think about, maybe if you see something that some cards you think would work in this deck, go for it. Uh, you know, it's a very cheap deck, uh, not the strongest deck in the world, but uh, it, there's some reward to it. So, well, thanks a lot, and until next time. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button so you'll know when our next video is released. Also, check out our playlists where you can find videos by topics like mill decks or cheap EX decks.